Congratulations on making the first step towards success. I'm sure you all have your reasons why you would want to learn perfume making. Are you a housewife trying to make ends meet? Are you a student who wants to earn some extra allowance? Are you a businessman experimenting on a new business venture? Or are you an employee by profession, but an entrepreneur by heart? Whatever situation you are in right now, if you're looking for a means to earn extra money, learn something new and worthwhile. You've come to the right place. By the time this training ends, you'll be equipped with a new skill that would enable you to start your own business venture. We will show you step-by-step step how to blend your own perfume so that you can eventually use this to start your own perfume business. So, let's start! First, let me give you a quick background on how perfume started. Perfume has existed in recorded history for over 4,000 years. The word perfume comes from the Latin perfumus, which means through smoke. The Egyptians were the first to incorporate perfume into their culture, followed by the ancient Chinese, Hindus, Israelites, Carthaginians, Arabs, Greeks, and Romans. The Egyptians also invented glass and perfume bottles and were the first ones to use glass dating around 1000 BC. The late 19th century was the first real era of perfume as we know it, when new scents were created because of advances in organic chemistry. Synthetic perfume products were used in place of certain hard-to-find or expensive natural ingredients. Grasse in Provence, France became a center for flower and herb growing for the perfume industry. The men who treated leathers in the same area found the smell so bad, they perfumed themselves and the leathers. They were knowledgeable about making the botanical essences and were the early perfume noses. Using a musical metaphor, every blend of fragrance oil is said to have three notes. Top notes, body or middle notes, and bass or bottom notes, which form the harmonious chord of the scent. Top notes are the first noticeable notes out of the bottle. These are also known as head notes. These are made up of the molecules that evaporate the quickest. The body or middle notes are the main and characteristic overall aroma of the perfume. They last longer on the skin than the top notes. These are also known as the hard notes because they form the main body of the perfume. They emerge as the top notes dissipate. The base notes emerge as the middle notes dissipate. The base notes are said to bring depth and solidity to a perfume. They are not perceived until 30 minutes after the perfume is applied and lasts for several hours. Now let's take a look at the fragrance classification using the fragrance wheel. The fragrance wheel identifies four standard families, namely floral, oriental, woody, and fresh. These are in turn divided into three subgroups and arranged in a circle, each group being related to the next. The exception to this rule is the Fougere family, which stands in the center of the fragrance wheel. It is a universal fragrance family as it contains elements from many of the other families. With the publication of Fragrances of a World 2008, two new subgroups have been added to the wheel, the fruity and woods. There are no secret ingredients in popular and expensive perfumes. You can have them all here from Kemrol Fragrance Factory. Fragrance oil is the key to any perfumery product. A perfumer creates it based on a design or profile that is perceived to be acceptable to the target market. Perfumers create a unique combination of anywhere from 10 to 100 ingredients to meet a defined fragrance profile intended for a certain target market. Another main component in making perfume are what we call vehicles. Vehicles are carriers in which fragrance oils are solubilized or dispersed. There are two major vehicles used in the market today for perfume. 
hydroalcoholic system which makes use of perfume-grade ethyl alcohol in water, and oil-based vehicles such as jojoba and sweet almond oil. Fixative is another important ingredient. These are additives that enhance the lasting power of fragrances. Fixatives are particularly used in hydroalcoholic fragrances. Let's take a closer look at hydroalcoholic fragrances. These fragrances are what we commonly have in the market today. They are distinguished by the level of fragrance oil used. Eau de Parfum has the highest concentration of fragrance oil, ranging from 15 to 25 percent. Next is Eau de Toilette with 8 to 15 percent of fragrance oil concentration. Eau de Cologne can be used more liberally with 3 to 8 percent fragrance oil but it may not last as long as the first two. Body Splash with 2-4% to fragrance oil concentration can be used liberally all over the body and often contain additives such as emollients and humectants. Aftershave is a major fragrance product in the male market with high percentages of water and only 1-3% to fragrance oil. Used as post-shave astringent and fragrance refresher, often with the stinging effect. Now that you know the difference between Eau de Parfum, Eau de Toilette, Eau de Cologne, Aftershave and Body Splash, let's now begin the process of making your own hydroalcoholic fragrance. Today, we'll be making a 100 ml of Eau de Parfum solution with a 15% fragrance oil concentration. Let's start with the ingredients. 15 ml of fragrance oil. 0.5 ml or 12 drops of fixative. 3 ml of dipropylene glycol or DPG. 75 ml perfume grade ethyl alcohol Distal water equivalent to the amount needed to complete the 100 ml solution And perfume grade colorant if you want to add color to your perfume solution Now for the laboratory equipment A 200 ml Erlen Mayer flask 110 ml graduated cylinder, one 100 ml graduated cylinder, one 250 ml beaker, and last year, one 100 ml amber bottle, three 10 ml perfume bottles, and two 35 ml perfume bottles. Now let's get down to business. We will show you each step twice. On the first demonstration, pay close attention to how it's done. On the second demo, let's do it together. Step 1. Fragrance oil. Using the graduated cylinder, measure 15 ml of fragrance oil. Then pour the fragrance oil into the Erlenmeyer flask. Perfumery tip. When using a graduated cylinder, read the lower meniscus at eye level as a volume measurement. Okay, now with the equipment and ingredients in front of you, follow our lead. Get the 10 ml graduated cylinder and measure 15 ml of fragrance oil. That means you will have one full 10 ml of the graduated cylinder and another half or 5 ml. After measuring, pour the fragrance oil in the Erlenmeyer flask. Step 2. Fixative. Using the glass stirrer, add 0.5 ml or 12 drops of fixative to the fragrance oil. Then stir. Now together, get the fixative and get your glass stirrer. Then get 12 drops of fixative added to the fragrance oil in the Erlenmeyer flask. Fixative will enhance the lasting power of the fragrance. Then stir. Step 3. DPG. 
Now for the third step, add 3 ml of DPG to your solution. Use the graduated cylinder to measure 3 ml of DPG. Okay, it's your turn now. Get the 10 ml graduated cylinder, get your DPG, and measure 3 ml. Pour the DPG to your solution together with the fragrance oil and the fixative. Now DPG is a kind of humectant used to moisturize and reduce sting in perfume. Step 4. Ethyl alcohol. For our fourth step, using the 100 ml graduated cylinder, measure 75 ml perfume grade ethyl alcohol and add it to your solution in the Erlenmeyer flask. Perfumery tip. 75% ethanol equals 75 ml. Some fragrance oils need more alcohol like 80% than water. Okay, your turn now. Get the 100 ml graduated cylinder. Get your alcohol. Measure 75 ml. Pour it in your solution, then stir. Step 5. Distill water. Pour the solution to the 100 ml graduated cylinder. Then add the necessary amount of distilled water to your solution to yield the 100 ml hydroalcoholic perfume. Pour it back to the Erlenmeyer flask, then stir. Okay, your turn. Since this is a hydroalcoholic fragrance, our fifth step includes pouring distilled water into the formula. Get your 100 ml graduated cylinder. Pour your fragrance solution from the Erlenmeyer flask to the graduated cylinder. Get your distilled water and slowly pour it to your solution till it reaches 100 ml. Pour it back to the Erlenmeyer flask, then stir. Step 6. Colorant. Now if you want to add color to your perfume, you can do so by adding less than a drop of perfume grade colorant to your perfume. Okay, your turn. Pick a color of your choice. Get your glass here. Dip it in your colorant. And add less than a drop to your perfume solution. Then stir well. You have now officially blended your own perfume, but you can't use it yet. Step 7. Aging and Chilling After mixing all the ingredients, the solution is allowed to stand for several days to several weeks. For storage during aging, place your perfume in a glass amber bottle and seal it well. Perfumery Tip Amber bottles help protect the perfume from degrading effects of heat and light. Put the bottle inside a sealed plastic bag to avoid contaminating the food in the refrigerator. Refrigerate perfume for 7 days. Or store in dry room temperature for 14 days. This will eliminate traces of alcohol stain and improve the scent. Step 8. Bottling Now your perfume is ready for bottling. For eau de parfum and eau de toilette containing 10% or more fragrance oil, glass bottles are recommended. Ordinary plastics cannot be used since high concentrations of fragrance oil may react with plastic. Cameral Fragrance Factory has a wide assortment of bottles that you can choose from. Step 9. Packaging To add a unique touch, you can package your own perfume in colorful boxes and place your own brand labels. You can also have your own labels made at our branches with the help of our talented graphic artists. All the ingredients and laboratory equipment used in the process can be purchased here at Camrode Fragrance Factory. We also have two affordable starter kit packages which will make it easier for you to venture into your own perfumery business. We have a pre-mixed starter kit for those who wish to start with pre-mixed eau de parfum solutions which are ready to bottle and sell. If you want to blend your own perfume, the DIY starter kit is perfect for you. Blending your own perfume will eventually give you better savings, thus giving you a bigger return on investment. You can also produce other hydroalcoholic concentrations like eau de toilette and eau de cologne. 
Also included in the starter kit packages is the perfume making and selling workbook, which you can use as your personal journal and guide to starting your own business. Included in the workbook are helpful tips and information on how to blend and sell your own perfume. You can also visit us here at Camero Fragrance Factory. We assist perfume entrepreneurs by providing high-quality training, complete and affordable supplies, and continuous guidance on your perfume business. Now that you have learned all this, how do you translate it into money-making? Given a premix starter kit, your initial capital of 4000 can produce up to 138 pen bottles of 9 ml perfume and 15 vials of 2 ml perfume. If you sell all that you produce, this will give you a total revenue of up to 8,430 pesos and a gross markup of 4,430 pesos or 111%. You also have retained fixed assets in the form of laboratory glasswares worth 500 pesos. Now, if you blend your own perfume, an initial capital of 3,500 pesos for a do-it-yourself starter kit can produce up to 80 bottles of 10 ml perfume and 30 vials of 2 ml perfume. If you sell all that you produce, this will give you an initial revenue of up to 6,300 pesos and an initial gross markup of 2,800 pesos or 80%. Not only that, you also have retained fixed assets in the form of laboratory glasswares worth 1,000 pesos. And that is only a glimpse of profitability in a perfume business. Eventually, when you have developed significant sales, you have to rethink your investment. And once more, this is where we stress our commitment to be supportive of your progress. Continue your day job while managing an income-generating venture with ease. Start small today, and someday, maybe you can be one of the successful perfume entrepreneurs and launch your very own fragrance brand in the market. Wasn't that fun? I hope you enjoyed and learned a lot. With the perfume-making knowledge, go and use your newly acquired skill to your advantage. Take risks and dare to explore the sweet-smelling future of perfumery business